Well, good morning, Year 11, going into Year 12. This is my first flipped classroom video. I am very excited, and I know you will be too. So the topic that we missed out doing, we didn't quite get to last term, last semester, was introductory calculus. So we'll probably take two weeks maybe to go through this and then start the HSC course. So here today, what we have is our very first video. Uh, which you're going to watch tonight and make some notes. I'm not going to tell you what notes to make. You can just figure out what, after you've watched the video what you think is important and what you need to solve some problems in class tomorrow. So we've discussed in class what calculus is, what we do with it. We've discussed that there's a long way of starting it and that we have to do that and it's the, um, the method that eludes me. First principles, thanks Mr Cobb. Uh, and you need to do it, you need to know that. Will you be tested on it? Probably not, um, but, but we do have to do that. So what we're starting today, we've got a parabola, and you can say to yourself before I say it what the equation of that parabola might be. Yes, it's y equals x squared. Doesn't matter what sort of parabola we've got or what shape we've got. And what we're trying to do is if I go down to this point here at A, I want to find the gradient at A the slope at A. Now if you look at it, that's a curve and I can't find the, the gradient there. What we've been used to be doing is what I've got here is finding a gradient between two points and if I join those two points up you can see if I join A to B that's what we're used to doing and we're used to finding the gradient of that line by rise over run. I'm just going to make it a colour so you can see it. Maybe a nice red. How's about that? Excellent. So what we're used to doing is finding the gradient between two points. And I've got the equation over here, rise over run. And you guys know that's the difference in the y's over the difference in the x's. How high it goes as opposed to how far it runs. And the two points I've got you can see here are 1 and 1, 3 and 9. So you can do a quick calculation. And I've got the gradient of that secant there, it's called a secant between two points, is 4. That's fine. What I want though is the gradient at A. I don't want this whole line here. I just want this point at A. So I'm going to slowly start moving. I think I'm going to start moving it. Moving point B down the parabola a little bit. If I try and go to another reasonably easy point to calculate the gradient, uh, let's say we go to 2, can get that quite close, 2 and 4. So I could do it again, rise over run. Now it's going to be a bit closer to A this time, what the gradient actually is at A. So the rise over run is 4 minus 1 and 2 minus 1, so it's now 3. Now, with my prior knowledge, I'm predicting, because I know how to do calculus and I know how to do it the quick way, if I've got the curve y equals x squared, I know how to quickly find it and I know the gradient's going to be 2. So I'm going to try and move this point down and show you that the gradient, as I move it, is approaching 2. It's getting smaller and smaller, so it's 2.6, 2.5, going down, down, down. If I try and place b right over the top of the a, which I can't because therefore you can't get a gradient, but if I just go this way, then we've gone to 1.9. So it's hovering, hovering around that 2 area, and if I keep going that, like that, there's another secant that I could be doing. Alright, and what we actually do, so we're not finding the gradient of a secant, move him down a bit, we're finding the gradient of the tangent at A. Now, the you know what a tangent is? It only touches the curve at one spot, so it doesn't go through the two spots. So what this is telling me, and what we know by calculus later on, is that the gradient's 2, and it says it here, 2 over the 1. It's running from 1 to 2, and it's going up 2. So basically, what I want you to take out of this lesson is that as we move the point B closer and closer and closer, which means that this distance here gets smaller and smaller. There's a change in the y and there's a change in the x's. And in science, you might know that you symbolise change with a triangle, a delta. And that's what 
differentiation is dy, change in the y, over the change in the x, which is what your formula is here. So as we move part point B down, we get rid of the secant and we end up with a tangent. And that will give us our gradient of the curve at that point. 